UTG rel I got for the uh, SKS. Um, when I went online looking for a rel for an SKS, uh, I looked for a while, and um, a lot of them were just the receiver covers that had the one short rel on it, or the side mount rels, and I looked for a little while and couldn't find anything that I really liked, and I came across this one here made by UTG. And uh, nice about this one is it is the uh, receiver cover type one, but uh, it's also got these tighten downs on each side, which actually screws down onto the body and holds it in a lot more, uh, a lot tighter. And then it's a uh, long rail, got 22 slots instead of like the you know 10, 12 that they normally got, and it's also got the built-in self uh, shell deflector on it too. Now uh, the cover is made out of steel and then everything else is aluminum which isn't that bad. I've noticed right here on the inside of the shell deflector you can see where the shells are hitting right there and scuffing it up a little bit. It ain't that big a deal but you know for something that cost almost a hundred bucks I would have thought that the uh, shell deflector would have been you know steel as well. But it's aluminum and it's molded all into the same spot as the uh, as the rail itself. Now another thing that's cool about this rail is the way it's molded. You can see all the way down the sights and still use your iron sights. I don't know if you can see that, but you can still use your iron sights with it too. And uh, I notice it's real sturdy. I haven't had trouble with my scope getting out of zero and. Uh, I haven't got a whole lot of time to mess with it. Now the other thing that's real bad about this is uh, you can't use stripper clips with it anymore because of the uh, shell deflector. Now uh, you can leave these untightened and switch off between your other one real fast, but these here just help it stay zero a lot more keeps from wiggling around. But uh, for about a hundred bucks, not bad. Uh, like I said, I would like this the shell deflector to be steel, um, and maybe the rail didn't steel with it if they were going to mold it to one piece like they did. And then uh, the other thing I would like is some some easier system for you to un untighten these and a little faster. Maybe uh, wing nuts would have been nice. The wing nuts on a, a bolt of some kind would have been nice. Instead, it's got these nuts, and you got a uh, Allen key bolt in there. You tighten that Allen key bolt, and you tighten that nut down, and it locks it in place. So some, some wing nuts probably would be nicer on it, uh, a little easier to mess with, so you can take it off faster. Besides that, overall, it's a real good, good rail, uh, considering you're still using your iron sights with it, and it's not one of those super tall high-rise ones like uh, a lot of the other rails are. But it is still. Uh, worth the money. If you're wanting something that you have a longer rail on, you can put a nice full-size scope on and have plenty of room to adjust it. You can still put a red dot on here up real high um, or a core back, and, you know, whatever you want to set up. I'll probably do another one when I do my uh, my whole stock conversion here in a couple weeks. I'm going to go ahead and do the interview with it. Uh, I'm going to try to come up with something special for my bayonet because I want to keep my bayonet so I can keep my cleaning rod in here. So I might try some way to come up with a, uh, a shorter bayonet that would still fit on the, uh, the stock uh, without putting me still that bottom rail because I have some plans for that. But I hope you all like it. I'll give you all a little more close-ups of this. So they put it together real nice. Real solid construction on it. It is laser engraved with the uh, UTG logo on the back. And overall it looks really, really nice. Not cheap made at all. So they did real good on it. A um, couple little things they could have changed, but overall I don't think they could have came up with a better product. Be sure to come over here and subscribe. And of course you have to hit the little bell 
otherwise we won't show up in your notifications each time we post a new video. And check us out on Facebook and give us a like. We post all of our content there as well, as long as some pictures that we take. Speaking of Instagram, you can check us out on Instagram too. We post all of our pictures, some short clips that don't end up on YouTube, along with a little bit of funny stuff, some game recipes, and we're also on Twitter. You can check us out on there, some of our posts. We keep everyone kind of uh, in the queue along what we're on to and what we're up to and what we're doing. Um, along with some other posts about some other things that we like. So be sure to check us out on Patreon. We could always use the support. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up, but that stuff kind of isn't cheap, so every little bit of support helps and will help us get out some good content for everyone to see. Don't forget, we're also part of the 1776 Militia now, which means I have links to give to you guys to go over to 1776 United and get some great merch. 1776 United is a great apparel company, and they have a lot of jackets, her, uh, shirts, hats, hoodies, mugs, patches, you name it, they've about got it that has some awesome, really awesome patriotic American, and even some uh, come and take it style uh, symbols on it. They're real great, I got a hat from them, I plan on getting some more stuff from them, but they have all kinds of stuff, they even have women and youth stuff as well. So stay tuned, look down in the description, I'll have a link so you can get over to the website. And of course it helps us, and then sometimes I'll have coupon codes for you as well. So go down to the description and go check out 1776 United.